Dear students, welcome to Exam Warriors. Students, here you can get all CBC related study materials with all important questions asked in a board exam. Today, in this video, we are going to study from 6th class Social Science subject, 1st chapter The Earth in the Solar System. Dear students, you already know about planets. You have studied about the planets in your previous classes. Today we are going to study briefly about the solar system. The sun, the eight planets and their moons, smaller planetary objects such as dwarf planets, comets and meteoroids together make up our solar system. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Here you can see in the picture. You can observe the picture. You know, here. See, Earth is the third nearest planet to the sun. Earth is the only planet to have an atmosphere containing free oxygen, oceans of water on its surface. And life. Earth is fifth largest of the planets. In all eight planets, Earth is the fifth largest planet. The next concept is full moon and new moon. Full moon and New moon. A full moon is opposite to the sun. Its orbit around the earth. Its sunlit side is entirely visible from the earth. The moon appears full to the eye for two or three nights. It may however appear at different times, different shapes and different positions. Observe the picture students. Here you can see the different shapes, different positions and different times of the moon. In this picture, okay, how the earth around the sun, you know, like that only, the earth's only satellite, the moon around the earth. Okay, it is the position of full moon and it is the position of new moon. For full moon, we call as a Purnima and for new moon, we call as a Amavasya. You can see the full moon only once in a about a month of time. It is full moon, night or Purnima. A fourth night letter you cannot see at all. It is a new moon, night or amavasya. Students, we can see the full moon a very beautiful in the night sky. But after few days, we can't see the, the moon in the sky. So it is called as a new moon. New moon night. Now about celestial bodies. What are celestial bodies? The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. The moon, the sun and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are okay very big and hot. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made of gases. They are made of gases. They have their own heat and light. Every star has the, its own heat and light. These celestial bodies are called stars. These celestial bodies, celestial bodies means the 
sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called as a celestial bodies and example for star yes sun is a star constellations what are constellations you can see in the night sky there are many patterns various patterns different patterns formed by the different groups of stars these are called constellations what are constellations the various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations in the picture you can see this one okay example capricorn scorpius lupus libra okay you can see here so many various patterns formed by the stars is called constellations you can observe these constellations in the night sky students in the night sky in this in this all constellations ursa major ursa major or big bear the another name of ursa major constellation is big bear it is one of such a constellations one of the most easily recognizable constellation is sapta rishi here sapta means seven rishi means sages it is a group of seven stars that forms a part of ursa major constellations ursa major which is the group of seven stars here you can see seven stars it is a group of seven stars is called ursa major or big bear pole star now only we have know about new about the constellation okay saptarishi here is a saptarishi you can see here the stars okay with the different pattern so here with the of the help of help of the saptarishi we can easily recognizable the pole star the north star indicates the north direction as its name indicates okay we can easily remember this one north stars indicate the north direction and it is also called as a pole star it is also called as a pole star it always remains in the same position in the night sky okay pole star never change its position it is in always in a north direction we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of saptarishi you can also observe about the pole star in the night sky with the help of saptarishi see students a wonderful picture of solar system here we can see all eight planets and it is sun the head of the family solar family so now we are going to study about the head of the solar system the sun the sun the sun is the center of the solar system sun is the center of the solar system we can see in this picture 
why sun is called as the center of the solar system students because here these all planets around the sun see here okay you can see so many orbits are there according to that orbits all planets are surrounding the sun okay so that's why sun is called as a center of the solar system it is huge and made of extremely hot gases it is huge and made of extremely hot gases the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system so all remaining planets of the solar system depend upon the sun for heat and light the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth the distance between earth and the sun is about 150 million kilometer 150 million kilometer away from the earth now about the planets the eight planets of the solar family the word planet from the okay the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers the earth on which we live is a planet we are living in a planet earth there are eight planets in our solar system there are total eight only let's count no okay shall we count the numbers okay mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune then what is this it is pluto okay but it is not a planet it is just like a uh, one of the celestial bodies okay so there are eight planets in order to of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn and neptune as we can see in this picture mercury is the nearest planet to the sun after that venus third one is earth fourth one is mars fifth one is jupiter sixth one is saturn seventh one is uranus and last one is neptune the planets all the planets of the solar system move around the sun in a fixed path these path are elongated they are called orbits means the all planets move around the sun in a fixed path and they are called as elongated they are called orbits mercury is the nearest to the sun mercury is the nearest to the sun it takes only about 88 days to complete one round around its orbit so here we can see the mercury here is a sun and it is very near to the sun venus is considered as a earth twin venus is considered as the earth twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the earth so here we can see the venus 
Mercury is the smallest and Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. Okay, Mercury is already told that. Okay, so it is considered, it is considered as a smallest planet and Jupiter is considered as a biggest planet of the solar system. Now about our planet Earth. Earth. The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. The third nearest planet to the Sun. In size is the fifth largest planet according to the size. Okay, according to the size. It is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. That is why its shape is described as a geod. Geod means an earth-like shape. The earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air which are very essential for our survival. Yes, students. Earth is the only planet where we can see, we can, we can get water, air, which are very essential for us to survival. So that's why Earth is called as a unique planet. In all eight planets, Earth is the only planet where we can get water, air, which are very essential for the survival. The air has life supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, Earth is unique planet in the solar system. Because of all these reasons, Earth is called as a unique planet. The Earth appears blue because its two third of surface is covered by water so it, it therefore called as a blue planet because we indicate the water with the blue color and two third of surface of the earth is covered by the water so it is called as a blue planet now about the moon Our earth has only one satellite that is the moon. Moon is the satellite of our earth planet. It appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. As I told in the beginning of the lesson that we can see many celestial bodies in the night sky which are shining. But some celestial bodies appear so small because they are very far from us. But the moon, one of the celestial body, satellite, which is very near to our earth planet. So it appears so big to us. It is about 3,84,000 km away from the sun. Sorry. It is about 3,84,000 km away from the earth. Us means here earth. We are living on the earth now. So it is 3,84,000 km away from the earth. The moon moves around the 27 days. It takes exactly some time to complete one spin. As the result, only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. Asteroids. What are asteroids? The numerous tiny bodies which move around the sun are called asteroids. The numerous. Numerous means uncountable. Tiny means small. The uncountable small 
bodies which move around the sun are called asteroids they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter now about meteoroids the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids sometimes these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn so it causes a flash of light these are called as a meteoroids galaxy what is galaxy a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars clouds of the dust and gases is called galaxy our solar system is a part of milky way galaxy we are belong to i means our solar system belong to milky way galaxy in ancient india it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky thus it was named akash ganga the ancient name of milky way galaxy is akash ganga universe there are millions of such a galaxies that make the universe galaxy means okay it is a huge system of billion of stars and universe means there are many millions of such a galaxies that make the universe means the billions group of the galaxy are called as a universe thank you students for watching like and subscribe for more videos